<laughs> I feel attacked. I see you. I see you, you fucking are. Wait, who the fuck is that? That's not Lana. Imagine living on a ranch, me, my husband, a dog. Oh, that's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Seeing me move. Is it? I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'd be annoyed by that. It's very heavy on this side, I feel like now, isn't it? <coughs> I'm not in love with how that's smack behind my head. I'll be back. I need to move my speaker, for fuck's sake. Why is nothing ever easy for me? She's not straight. Hi, welcome back to another video. So today is the day we've got chemtrails. Yeah, so Miss Lana Ray has released her, God, how many albums has she got? Is this like the fifth or sixth album or something? Born to Die, Paradise. Then we had Ultraviolence, Hollywood, Lust for Life, Norman fucking Rockwell. This is the seventh album, fucking hell. So, she has released Chemtrails Over the Country Club. Now, I know this leaked. I did not participate in uh, listening to the leakage. Um, not my vibe, just not my kind of thing. Um, the artist wants to release it on a certain day, so I think let's respect that certain day, okay? But anyway, we do have the album. Okay, so I've obviously heard the lead single, Chemtrails Over the Country Club, and Let Me Love You Like a Woman, which I didn't realize was gonna be on the album, but I'm glad it is, I really like that song. If you're excited to see my thoughts to this album, please do keep on watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, I sounded real bad then. Let's have a sip of coffee. Oh, that's good coffee, Oof. If you're excited to see my thoughts to this album, please do keep on watching. If you enjoy this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter to be on the screen up there, as well as link down below. And yeah, let's get into it. Woo! Don't make me be a bit of sweet. Okay, first track, White Dress. I've seen the teasers for the music video for this, so I wonder when she's gonna bring the music video out. Five and a half minutes. Guys, I'm so happy to have a nice chill start to my morning rather than oonch up, oonch up. You've got to be fucking joking me. You have got to be fucking joking me. She's starting. She's starting the album like that. Sorry, if you're new here, I do pause a lot. My reactions are very commentary because I'll forget to say things otherwise. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Guys, I, can you see? I'm like kind of tearing up low key, and I'm not sure if that's because it's early or what. Down at the music business conference. I loved that. <laughs> she sounds so good. <laughs> Was that the noise of like a vape pen? That's what it sounded like. Okay, Miss Lana, you get vaping, sis. Oh my god, guys, this is so good. Into it. I can definitely see how like this instrumental kind of carried along into chemtrails as well. She's barely even getting the words out. She is, yeah. Caressing, okay? She's in there. I could cry a little bit. Oh, so the um the rollers the roller skates do make sense because if she was a waitress, like they do wear. In some diners, I know that they, at least they used to wear rollerblades, didn't they, to get them from A to B pretty quick. Oh, so the rollerblades make sense, but didn't she break her arm when she was shooting the music video? But that makes sense now, why should be on rollerblades? Because she was a waitress, right. This whole bit is so juicy. Guys, I can't lie, I've not really been tuning into the lyrics, which is bad of me, because I know she's a real good lyricist. Um, but she's just said, um, I only mentioned it because it was such a scene, and I felt seen. Wait, Lana? That's kind of sad. Because if that's about her real life, like, she's saying, like, she doesn't feel seen now, which, I mean, okay, now, I imagine it, that's kind of how it is in the public eye, isn't it? <laughs> Oh fuck, it kind of makes me feel like I was better off as a fucking waitress. 
No, Miss Bitch, absolutely not. Oh my god, I'm sure you care about that. <laughs> That was fucking gorgeous, right? So, like I said, I can definitely see how parts of that production, because they had a bit of a drum, a bit of a cymbal in there, I can see how that did obviously get emulated over, especially into the outro of Chemtrails, the lead single. Guys, that was a fucking good opener. And I nearly cried then. So if I can make it through this whole album but not cry, pass on the back for me. Obviously, I don't want to cry online because that's not my vibe. But, um, yeah. But anyway, moving on. Song we've heard, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. If you want to know my thoughts, go watch my reaction to this. Let's just have a quick listen. I will say, I didn't know what what Chemtrails was. And then I searched it and it, it's like the, the line that the airplanes leave, isn't it? And is it because, is it because they look like strips of, like, cocaine or drugs? I'm not sure if I can say those words on YouTube. Okay, so that was the lead single, Chemtrails Over the Country Club, and once again, if you want to know my thoughts, go watch the uh, video that I did for that. It's a great video. Next track, Tulsa Jesus Freak. What? We're getting a new vibe. Okay, I'm sat up. Okay. Coffee, absolutely. Oh, I was just about to say, guys, this has kind of the potential to bang. And then she's just taking it straight down. <laughs> but anyway. Arkansas. See, but isn't it, set, isn't it called Arkansas? Or am I being stupid? I swear it was called... Arkansas, because that's why there's that meme where there's that woman going like, how is this called Kansas, but this one's called Arkansas. America, explain. Do you know what I mean? So I am confusion. Lana Del Rey, explain. <laughs> but I love that she's called it Arkansas. <laughs> Guys. She just said, find your way back, back to my bed again. That is the entry. That's the energy right there, Miss Bitch. Mm -hmm. Nice! <laughs> Wait, what? when are people laughing without a smile? <laughs> Can I make you laugh with a smile? Well, it's the only way. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is everything, this whole vibe. Oh, it's the beat for me. Nice. Guys, that's another really beautiful one. I definitely see a slight difference from anything we've really had before. Like, either the way she's approaching the um, production or the way she's appro approaching the vocals. So, for sure, like, in the in White Dress, the vocal on the chorus was kind of different to how we'd heard her uh, sound before, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and then this, like... It had a very unique sound, which I'm absolutely into. So um, I'm happy that she's given us something slightly different again. But yeah, that was Tulsa Jesus Freak. I definitely need to know lyrics. As soon as I know lyrics for any of these songs, it's going to be over, right? We all just know this. Anyway, moving on. Next track, Let Me Love You Like A Woman, a song I've heard. If you want to know my thoughts, there's a video on my channel. Go check that out. I just wish I could sound as ethereal as well, I mean. Love that part. Okay, so that was Let Me Love You Like A Woman. Once again, go check my reaction out if you want to know my full thoughts. Next track, Wild At Heart. Now this re reminds me of, do you remember the series, anybody? Does anyone used to watch Wild At Heart? It's a beautiful series. It's basically based in Africa and it's like this family that like, yeah. Anyway, just reminded me of that from the title. Let's fucking go. And then Miss Bitch, what are we getting this time? I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. She said you're killing me more than coffee pods and insta thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, give it us deep. Wait. The camera the cameras had flashes they caused cars car crashes. Wait, Princess Diana. Is that wild for me to think that she's speaking about that? Because Princess Diana basically like she died if you didn't know if you're from America or somewhere else and you're not sure about like our royal family, whatever. Basically, Princess Diana died in 1997. Uh, being chased by paparazzi and they kind of ran them off the road and then she got into a car accident and that's how she uh, passed away Maybe that was a reference to that, but I don't know. Maybe not. But that's just what it made me thought think of sad as fuck Come on melody switch up. I fucking bum that shit when they fuck around. Oh, oh Sing it Catchy, catchy motherfucker. Oh, it's building. Come on, Mitch. Oh, she switched it up at the end. She switched it up at the end because all the way through she's been saying, if you love me, you'll love me because I'm wild at heart. Now she's saying, if they'll love me, they'll love me because I'm wild at heart. Okay. I see you. I see you, you fucking are. Guys, I love that one too. Oh, God, it's so good. I haven't got anything to say, but it's really, really enjoyable. I'm really having the best time. Oh, guys, like I said at the beginning, it's kind of nice to start my morning off a bit more soothing because usually I'm having to get up this early. Guys, I got about half past six for this. You're welcome. This is the earliest I've gotten up on a Friday yet. Usually it's 7 a.m., but I thought, no, let's go half an hour early because it's Lana. So I did, in fact, get up at half past six, and usually on a Friday morning, it's like some sort of bop. Like, there's never really been like a chill song that I've reacted to on a Friday morning. It's usually a bop or like a crazy album or like a ballad that's going to tear my soul out. <sighs> I'm kind of feeling soothed. I'm kind of feeling relaxed. They weren't words, and that was slurry, but it's all right. Next track, Dark But Just A Game. Oh God, please get dark. I love when she has darker lyrics. Dark but just a game. That's oh, going straight in there with the title again. She said, that's what people say to me. Oh, okay, we're gonna be spilling some tea. This story's all end tragically. Oh. No, this is gonna be a favourite. She said, sweet but whatever baby. That's the price of fame, the same old whatever, like it's been that way for ages or something. And then the fucking beat dropped. I love when she um, kind of experiments with more hip hop styles, production wise. Obviously her, vo her voice is not gonna be hip hop, but like styles in the production, I like it when she like experiments a little bit. <laughs> so I think I might like this one. Come on, tambourine. No rose left on the vines. And by the vines, I'm taking that as being like Hollywood and Vine. So in Hollywood, she's saying there's no roses left. So everyone's a thorn. Everyone's, everyone's a, dick. a dick. Everyone's, everyone's an, an, asshole. an asshole. That's That was full on at me just interpreting that my own way. Fully just moving actually what she said out the way and just get into my own source, right? But that's kind of where I went with that. Cause she said no roses left on the vines. Hollywood and Vine, no roses left, they're all thorns, they're all assholes. Okay? Okay, I'm here for it. <sighs> Gorgina! I'm not, I'm not sold on that. The little, not sold on that. I'm not. But the rest of it, absolutely. <laughs> I don't even want what's mine, much less the fame. So like, she's just not, she's just not interested anymore. Fuck. God, this is truly about the fucking dark side of what obviously we all don't see. Well, we kind of do see it, let's be honest. Cancel culture is fucking prevalent, huns. The best ones lost their minds. The best ones lost their minds. 
sorry, I was just thinking about how she said, like, all the best ones lost their minds. I can't help but, like, relate that to, like, all the legends that we've lost over the years. How many legends have been, like, taken because of how dark fame and, like, that all, sh that all, all that shit gets. It's dark, but just the game. <sighs> okay, so... Lyrically, that one's definitely one of my favourites, for sure. I think lyrically that's definitely just one of the best that we've had so far in the album. Will say, wasn't fond of the whole, whatever that noise was. Not my fave, bit of an interesting choice. But the rest of the fucking track, I really liked. I liked the, the that kind of switch up in the production. I liked the little tambourine moment. That's the only thing I was a bit iffy on was a little, but that's fine. Moving on, next track, Not All Who Wander Are Lost. I've been wearing the same damn clothes for three damn days. Me in quarantine. Me now. Just me now. I'm not leaving my house. The thing about men like you is you've got a lot to say. I know those who wander. Okay! Vocals. The vocals. Right, I just had to give that a sec because, okay, we're taking it there. Mm. I'm never gonna be able to hit that, which is kind of sad. Cause every time I said no, it wasn't quite what I mean. <laughs> it wasn't quite what I mean. I'm not someone to say, like, good language and, uh, that kind of thing, and using the English language correct. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> She's probably done that because it needs to rhyme with whatever she's gonna say next. <laughs> okay. Mm. There we go, it had to rhyme. Okay. <laughs> this chorus. This is beautiful. I like this one a lot. This is what I mean. That's the shit I like. When she starts speaking, like singing a bit quicker, because she's still got that angelic vibe going, but then it's like quicker and it's fun and it gets me, mm, it gives me the tingles, gives me the mm, 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 yeah. Oh, that's the shit. That is the shit. Yeah. This chorus is everything. I am just gonna give myself a pat on the back for this coffee. Like, wow, it's real good today. I feel like that track was like quintessential Lana. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that one had everything you'd expect from a Lana Del Rey track in one song, for sure. Like, those vocals on the chorus. Oh, do you know what's really sad is though, I'm gonna wanna sing that song and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to hit that. Like, I don't think I've got the vocal capacity to get up there. So, oh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites. I think the more I know the lyrics and stuff, I'm just gonna love it even more. So, yeah, for sure. Next track, Yosemite. Don't even know what Yosemite is. We won't change. Did y'all hear that? Change. That is the shit. That's the intricacy I'm after, right? That's the substance I'm after. She said that twice now. Oh. What does it mean if someone's a candle in the wind? Because a candle in the wind is going to get blown out, isn't it? Let's just continue. But guys, the vocals again. Vocally, she is here and she's present. Okay? Is she maybe talking about the process of making Norman fucking rock well? Potentially, because you said that like, it wasn't like before when, when I was burning at both ends. They did it for fun, like they did it just for them, like they, they did it for each other, like they really enjoyed the process. Maybe what maybe it's nothing to do with what I'm thinking, but for some reason that just made me think of like maybe like the process for Norman fucking Rockwell was kind of different because it definitely sounds different to her other stuff. I feel like I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's not at all what she's saying, but that's just where my mind went. I love that production. Wow. Wait. 
she mentioned in White Dress, didn't she, that she feels like um, back when she used to do waitressing and everything, at least like she felt like she was being seen, whereas like now she didn't feel like she was being seen. But now she's saying... Oh, we love a story, we love a flow through. Oh, yeah, baby. There's got to be something to do with her past work and like the process and everything. That bridge was gorge. Nice. There's something about this track that is really like mesmerizing me and I don't know what it is. I think it could be the production of like the little bongo situation they've got going on. I don't know what it is, but it's really like, I'm really enjoying this one. And that's the backing of that track. God, it really got me. Anyway. Beautiful track. Really fucking nice. Guys, this album is really fucking nice. I'm really enjoying myself. Next track, Breaking Up Slowly. Oh, this is the shortest one we've had, I think. I love you only. Wait, who the fuck is that? That's not Lana. I wasn't concentrating then, and then I suddenly tuned in, and that was Lana. So don't send me flowers like you are. You're not telling me that's Lana. You're just not, but there's no feature on here. Are these my good years, or do I have none? I'm gonna have to look this up, because that ain't fucking Lana. There's no way you're telling me that's Lana Del Rey. Oh, Nikki Lane. Okay, well, why aren't, she, why aren't she on as a feature? Oh, apparently Nikki Lane co-wrote the song. Uh, Delray mentioned Nikki let her have the song for her upcoming record. Okay, so it was a Nick, Nikki's song originally, and then, okay. I kind of like that she's let her have this part then. I guess we should put her on as a feature so I fucking knew. Okay? <laughs> there she is. Wait, that was a gorgeous vocal, right? Whew, that got me, that woke me up again, where? Okay, I've got thoughts, one minute, right? We're, we've got 30 seconds left, but I've got thoughts. Just break up, right? No breaking up slowly, absolutely not. Um, cut ties, block. Um, if they've been an asshole, definitely. Obviously, if they've not been an asshole and it's just like a mutual thing, fair enough, don't block, right? But none of this b breaking up slowly bullshit. That's just like lengthening the process. Why Why are we putting ourselves through like the lengthier process when we could just be like, gone, goodbye. Absolutely not. But they sound gorgeous together. Mm. Oh, Nikki, serving a bit of vocal. To do. To do. Yeah. I get what they're saying. So I'm imagining, right? So they're saying they love this person wholeheartedly, like they're, they're their one, right? Clearly that means the other person isn't reciprocating these feelings. So like they're saying breaking up slowly is the right thing to do. I'd just say breaking up in general is the right thing to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put emphasis on the slowly part because that's just gonna make you just really, yeah, go through the emotions. So I'd say just breaking up in general is just the right thing to do, especially if someone's not giving you what you're wanting to give them. Guys, we're only putting energy out there that someone's gonna reciprocate, right? We haven't got the time, we haven't got the energy for games. No, we don't do it, okay? That one was a great one. Nikki definitely served. I wish she was on there as a feature so I at least knew to expect someone else, but that might have been her choice, we don't know. She was gorgeous vocally, especially towards the end, she really served. Lana obviously served, I think they sound, sounded brilliant together. Definitely a really good song, definitely one of my favourites, I think. Also, I feel like it's definitely one of the more catchier ones as well in terms of melody and stuff, so... Yeah, love breaking up slowly. Next track, Dance Till We Die. Stevie's calling on the telephone. Telephone. The goddess is good not to be Oh, Caroline. I will say, I'd l I think I'd love to live on a ranch. Like, obviously with a significant other, not on my fucking own. Imagine living on a ranch, me, my husband, a dog. Really nice. I think I'd really enjoy that. Very Brookback Mountain vibes, and I like that. <laughs> oh! The violins, are you joking? 
Who can be? The fucking violins. That was Gorgina. Yes, this is gonna be a one. Wait a fucking minute. Wait, she's doing, whoa, that was a real switch up. I was so in my own world then, and that brought me straight back. Okay, vocal difference, switching up. God, I was not prepared for that. Oh my God, this is, has like a different energy. This is gonna be a fave, for sure. Oh yeah. Absolutely, that is for sure one of my favourites. Whoa, guys, that whole outro was everything and more. Whoa, she needs to explore that tone more. Oh my god. Anyway, moving on. Last track on the fucking album, guys. Let's keep this. Let's keep this flowing. Next track is for free with. I'm assuming like obviously with on the track. Zella Day and Weyer's Blood. I'm pretty sure Weyer's Blood, didn't they do an album? And was it called like Titanic Rising or something? And I think I've heard like one or two songs of that, but I would happily do a reaction to that if you guys would want to see that. Um, but yeah, I think that's who that is. So I'm expecting good things from this track. So let's get into it for free. I slept last night. Nice. Wait, also I just want to say like, because I'm not familiar with Della Day or Weir's Blood, so I'm not going to know who's who in terms of vocal. Potentially is that Zella Day? It kind of gives me that vibe because it's not Lana, but it also could be Weir's Blood, I don't know. But whoever it is, they sound gorge. Nice, bitch. Wow. Okay. Oh god, that was interesting. So the, so in that first verse they were talking about a guy or something that plays the clarinet just for free, like just because he loves it. And then Lana just came in and said like, whereas me, I play for fortunes. Yeah? I play for fortune, I want to be rich. I mean, own it sis. I got a black limousine If you Oh no, yeah, she, so, so, sorry, I was I was just thinking like maybe she's on about like she plays for fortunes as in like rich people, she plays for the rich people, but then she has just said like I'll play if you've got the money. So, okay. If you're a friend to me, oh well that's nice of you. Nobody stopped to hear I think that's where his blood. Because I remember from the, the like little I did hear from that album, I think um, her songs are really quite ethereal and gorgeous vocal. I mean, they've all got fucking gorgeous vocals, but I think that's Where's Blood, but I'm not sure, once again. I... Wow, come on, vibrato. I'm gonna have to look it up because whoever it is, fucking hell. Gorgeous, gorgeous voice. Yeah, so the first one was Zella Day, this is Where's Blood. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I got it right, come through. Way as blood as well. Ooh. I would have had so much longer of that song. Oh my god. Like, I'm talking like Venice bitch length. I'm talking like nearly fucking 10 minutes. Of them just like playing around them, like harmonising them, like just kind of going for it, all three of them. Like, I think that would have been fucking gorgeous. But a really nice outro. I'm glad she left, like, the proper feature till the very end. I think that was a smart choice. And I think they were a perfect feature to have on this album. I feel like they really suited the whole vibe really nicely. Especially that track as well. They suited that track really, really well. They all had really gorgeous vocals. Lyrical content. Um, Lana's part, not my favourite. But I, th I thought it was cute overall. But yeah, really nice track. Guys, that brings us to the end of the fucking album. I think it's a really good album and I think the more I know the words and the lyrics I'm just gonna like like it even more because that kind of that's kind of how it goes with Lana stuff as soon as I know lyrics like I have an even bigger appreciation for it is it Norman fucking Rockwell standard I don't know um I feel like I've got to kind of like sit with it but it's definitely not 
it's not far off Norman fucking Rockwell for me. And Norman fucking Rockwell is like one of my favourites from Lana for sure. A lot of her stuff is really good. Um, I did do a ranking of all Lana's stuff obviously other than this. Yesterday I put that up so if you haven't watched that maybe go watch that after this. And you can kind of see where I rank stuff. Be nice. Appreciate my uh, opinion. It's just an opinion. L let me know your thoughts as well down below on that video. Um, let me know your thoughts on this album down below too. I'd love to know what you guys think. Do we like it? Do we... Um, yeah, so what, what do you think? I wish it was a tiny bit longer, a few more tracks. I'd happily have a few more tracks. But I guess it kind of just leaves me wanting more, so I'll probably, I'd will be more likely to like, replay again, I guess. But yeah, with that said, this does bring us to the end of this reaction. If you guys did enjoy, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Check me on Instagram and Twitter. will be on the screen up there, as well as link down below. And yeah. I'll be back soon with another video. Incidentally, blah, 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 blah. love you guys. Lots. Goodbye. Bye, guys.